In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for KCl plus PbNO3 2. This is potassium chloride. This is lead to nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see I have two nitrate ions here and just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the potassium nitrate. That gives me two potassium atoms. I only have one here. I'll put a 2 here. So those are balanced. I now have two chlorine atoms, but I have two here. That's good. I have a lead and then a lead. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. Chlorides are very soluble, little AQ, with a few exceptions. Nitrates also very soluble. We have another nitrate, so that's soluble. It's going to dissociate into its ions. And then when you see lead compounds, you really need to check and see whether they're soluble in water or not. If you know your solubility rules, you'll know lead to chloride is not soluble in water. But we can look this up here on this rather large chart of uh, solubility. We'll go down here. We're looking for lead. Right here is lead and then chloride. So we go over and up. That SS means that lead to chloride, that PbCl2, will be slightly soluble in water. A little bit of it will dissolve, not very much. And for the purpose of net ionic equations, when we see that slightly soluble, we consider that to be insoluble. So it's insoluble. It won't dissolve. It's a solid. These two substances react. This is a precipitate. We have our states. Now I can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Potassium is in group 1, and then the chlorine, that's always 1 minus. So we have 2K plus, those two potassium ions, and I'll write aqueous at the end, plus two chloride ions. And then we can't tell the charge on lead just by looking at it. We have to look at what it's bonded to since it's a transition metal. Nitrates, always 1 minus. I have two of them. Lead's got to be 2 plus. So this is the lead 2 ion, Pb2 plus. And then we have two nitrate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have a plus and a minus. So we have two potassium ions, again, plus two nitrate ions. The 2 goes to everything. And then in net ionic equations, we don't split solids up. So we just put PbCl2. This is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In the reactants, I see I have two potassium ions and in the products. Get rid of those. Two nitrate ions here in the reactants and two in the products. Get rid of those. And what's left is the net ionic equation for KCl plus PbNO3 2. I'll clean this up and add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium chloride plus lead to nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. I have 2 times the 1 minus. So I have 2 minus, 2 plus. They cancel out. Product is neutral. And we have two chlorine atoms here, two here, one lead, one lead. So mass is conserved as well. Often you'll see the positive ion put first in net ionic equations. It's the same thing. doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for KCl plus PBNO3. Thanks for watching.